Hi guys, today we are concluding our series on how to look after your guitars electronically, looking at the little things that you can do without having to sort of pick up a soldering iron. Um, today we're looking at a Telecaster, which pretty much covers us for the, for the four main types of guitars. We've already looked at Strat's uh, Les Paul style ones and, and also Gibson hollow body style, so the Strat uh, the, sorry, the telly rounds off the series quite, quite nicely. There's a few subtle differences in, in essentially where everything is really and what you need to take off. Yeah, so. it's similar to the Strat. Okay. We have it on a control plate, a okay. scratch plate on the sure. Strat. So it's fairly easy to uh, just remove this, lift it up and, and get in to clean those pots. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And, and, and cleaning the pots is the main point of this. Um, why, why would you want to? Well, the pots it? can become crackly. Okay. Okay, and you'll hear that audibly through the amp when you're rolling down the tone or the volume. Okay. Okay, okay. so regular maintenance on the pots will just clean all that out. Perfect, and that, okay. that kind of comes out of the amp. It's, it's not a sort of physical thing, it's an yep. elect electronic thing. Absolutely. What you do notice physically when you've cleaned them, they mm. may just feel a bit smoother. A bit smoother, they've got like okay. a nicer action to it sort of thing. Yeah. So if we, uh, if I open this up and I can show you where the pots Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Okay, brilliant. So, so pots, um, for those that don't know, so the volume and the tone, the, the sort of knobs that you turn to, to, you know, turn your guitar on effectively and up and down, and the tone, um, potentiometers, they just kind of, they give the, they have a sort of a taper where they will sort of, you know, reduce the signal going through the guitar, or not reduce yeah. it, but redirect it, I guess. But yeah, so or either down to ground, to yeah. nothing, if that okay. be a volume, or Perfect. with the capacitor, the more you dial in, the more the tone is filtered. Sure, and that just okay. essentially removes the highs. Removing the highs, okay. yeah. Um, it's a good, if you are into soldering and, and want to experiment, it's a, it's a good mod to be able to do yourself. Okay. Which I've, you know, it's changing the uh, capacitors. Okay, fair enough. And what, just, just briefly, I mean, a different capacitor, I mean, I've had a few different ones on my, on my Telecaster, for yeah. instance. Um, just gives you a different amount of, of roll off of tone, a different, exactly. just yeah. a different feel like it, like anything else would. I mean, if, if you do regularly use your tone, um, it's definitely something that's, that's worth changing. Or rather, also, if you don't use it, rather. Cause and I'd, you... Yeah, and also I'd say on tellies, more so than any other, yeah. it's right there, you can just solder it on and off, and you'll be able to instantly hear mm -hmm. the difference and see whether you like it or not with okay. different uh, value capacitors there. Cool, cool, nice um, easy mod. I've just put, Bit of blue towel or yep. you know cloth, you know whatever you've got, yep. just to stop any say sharp solder joints or anything like that from scratching the top of the body. The there. lovely candy okay. apple red finish that we have here. And as we've shown before, we're going to be using the switch cleaner service sole, yep. and we're going to get right into the pots there. Fantastic. Okay, okay brilliant. So it's a fair bit of kind of excess going everywhere. It's not. It's not dank. Dangerous at all to the guitar? It's not, no. Perfect. And then if you give them a turn or two, mm -hmm. it will just allow that cleaner to get round the pot okay. and clean them out. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. As we have mentioned uh, before as well, if they're really stubborn and really dirty, you can do this plugged in so you can hear it. Okay. Okay. You know, quite conveniently with the telly again because you can still have the strings on. Sure. Um, of course. And then you can hear them until you've you've actually worked all of that dirt and dust out. Okay. Perfect. So just wipe that excess off. Fantastic, and I know that we briefly touched on it with the strap, but there's you want to be careful not to pull it out too yeah, vigorously. Yeah, you've got the you've got the live on the jack and the ground. You've yeah. also got the ground underneath the bridge plate here. Sure. Okay, that's not really at risk of coming out because it's anchored by this plate. Sure. Um, but yeah, sure. You but as you can see, there's quite a lot of play. Yeah. Okay. And there should be that amount at least. Sure. Okay. Um, Perfect. And that's about it. Brilliant. Okay, so nice and easy with the Telecaster. I mean, it is a inherently a, a pretty simple guitar, isn't it? I mean, it, there's, absolutely. You know, they haven't really changed in in the last well, I guess what it's sort of sixty odd years now. So, um, very impressive. Minimal maintenance, and, and it's definitely something that you guys at home can can do with a bit, a bit of uh, switch cleaner. Which, again, we, we we briefly touched on it, but you get that from sort of any any electrical yep. store. Yeah, Maplin. Kind of thing. Yeah, perfect. And it's a five of store. So perfect. We can't really argue with that. So, um, so yeah, that pretty much concludes our, our series on looking after the electrics of your guitar. I hope that's helped um, and hopefully saved some of you a trip to, you know, a tech or anything like that. Just get yourself some switch cleaner. It's, it's useful to have anyway. We briefly touched on it before, but even for amp pots and and yeah, pedals, you know, pedals, pedals are particularly susceptible to it because they're on the ground where the dirt is. So. Um, Get yourself some of that and, and, and save yourself some money in the in the long run as well. Absolutely.
Cool. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.